welcome to our new video. For today's video, we are going to discuss pure substances and mixture. But before we proceed with our discussion, allow me to share with you our learning target. So at the end of this lesson, you are expected to describe pure substances and mixtures according to their composition and properties. Second, you are expected to classify given materials as substances or mixture. We all know that matter can be classified into pure substances and mixture. Pure substances are substances that are made up of only one kind of atom or particle and have a fixed or constant structure. So that means, pure substances have chemical and physical properties that do not change. Now, to easily understand pure substances, we're going to focus on the definition that pure substances are substances that are made up of only one kind of atom or particle. There are two types of pure substances, elements and compounds. All elements are pure substances because they only have one type of atom, while compounds are pure substances that have only one type of particle. So first, let us look at the elements. So I have here a gold, and the element symbol for gold is AU. If we're gonna zoom in on what makes a pure gold, you can see that all of the atoms have the same type and those are the gold atom. So therefore, gold is pure substance because it is composed of only one type of atom. Let us have another example. I have here a pencil. At the tip of the pencil, we can see the element carbon that makes up our pencil lead. If we were to zoom in and look at our pencil lead, then we were able to see the particles that make up the pencil lead. And we can see that it contains only one type of atom, which is the carbon atom. So therefore, carbon is also a pure substance that is made up of only one type of atom because when you zoom in, all you see are carbon atoms and nothing else. Again, all elements are pure substances. Next, we will look at the other types of pure substances which are compounds. A compound is another type of pure substance that consists of two or more different elements that are chemically combined. So I have here a glass of water. Water is a compound with a chemical formula of H2O. So we're gonna zoom in on water and look at the particles that make up water. So in this case, what we see is a little bit different from what we saw on gold and carbon elements. It is a little bit more complex, but what we see here is the same basic set of molecules, which is the molecules of water. Water molecules consist of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen. So if we're gonna zoom in on water, all you see is a bunch of water molecules and nothing else. So therefore, since water consists of only one type of particle, it is considered a pure substance. Let us have another example. I have here sodium chloride, commonly known as table salt. So we're gonna zoom in on the table salt and look at the particles that make up the table salt. As you can see, as we zoom in on the table salt, we can see sodium and chlorine that are chemically bonded to form compound which is sodium chloride. All we can see here is a bunch of sodium chloride and nothing else. So therefore, since table salt consists of only one type of particle, it is considered a pure substance. So let us have a recap. Again, pure substances are substances that are made up of only one kind of atom or particle. And it can be classified into elements and compounds. Elements are the simplest form of matter which is consists of only one type of atom. While compounds are composed of two or more elements that are chemically bonded. It contains a single type of particle. In our example, water only consists of H2O while table salt only consists of sodium chloride and nothing else. Now, let us proceed with the mixture. 
A mixture is made up of two or more different pure substances which are not chemically combined. So therefore, a mixture is the physical combination of two or more pure substances. And because of that, substances in the mixture keep all their physical and chemical properties. Now, let us have an example. So based on the definition of mixture, it is made up of two or more different pure substances. So I have here water and salt, which are pure substances. So if we're going to mix water and salt, we all know that salt will dissolve in water, and we will have salt water or salt solution. If we're going to zoom in on the salt water and look at the particles that make up the salt water, we will see a combination of different particles that make up the substance. Therefore, if we combine water and salt, we will have a mixture, simply because it contains two different substances which are the water molecule and salt particle. There are two types of mixture, homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. A homogeneous mixture is a mixture in which the components that make up the mixture are uniformly distributed throughout the mixture. That means the composition of the mixture is the same throughout and there is only one phase of matter observed. So you wouldn't observe both a liquid and a gas or a liquid and a solid in a homogeneous mixture because the particles are evenly distributed. The salt water that we talked about a while ago is an example of a homogeneous mixture because the dissolved salt is evenly distributed throughout the entire salt solution. On the other hand, a heterogeneous mixture is a mixture in which the components of the mixture are not uniform or not evenly distributed. Different samples from the mixture are not identical to each other. For example, halo-halo is a heterogeneous mixture. Any given spoonful of halo-halo will contain varying amount of different ingredients. Also, a heterogeneous has a localized region with different properties and it also consists two or more phases. For example, when oil and water are combined, they do not mix evenly, but instead they form two separate regions or layers. Each of the layers is called phase. There are always two or more phases in a heterogeneous mixture where you can identify a region with their properties that are distinct from those another region, even if they are in the same state of matter. So that's it. See you in our next lesson. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you will be notified for more videos like this.